I'm showing you guys this iPad because I've had this for quite some time. I just didn't end up resetting it. Um, so I have reset the whole thing now. I'm just going to log in and show you guys. I logged in, I changed everything, it updated everything to the new iOS. I didn't think it was going to. I've actually had this iPad for some time and I was planning on getting a new one, but then I thought I don't particularly want to be spending money at this time buying a new one if i have one i should just reset the whole thing and eventually it worked because i didn't think it would because sometimes if they are like disabled or they're blocked with another email through icloud sometimes it's hard to get in but somehow it just reset the whole thing which i was so happy about i was like i do not want to be forking out more money if i've already got one anyway but i ended up downloading like new apps so if you guys got any suggestions for like ipad apps or like if you got any suggestions for like because i've got my book apps here i've got like my kindle goodreads audible i started doing kindle i'm not really a kindle reader but i'm trying and i started like downloading these ones so these are the books i've got in my kindle at the moment um i did the prime one because it's free um but you know we'll see <laughs> and then um yeah i'm just going through and seeing what i can get like for free and stuff but these are the ones i have which is great i'm actually in the middle of reading this one i think this one is just so interesting um but yeah let me know in the comments if you got so yeah let me know if you've got any app suggestions or if you want to suggest something um but yeah it's an old ipad it's not one of the new ones i think this one can also take a sim as well i don't think i want to put a sim at the moment but We'll good morning everyone and welcome to a new vlog um so this morning i'm actually on my way to my mom's house um i'm gonna go take her to her doctor's appointment usually around mondays and tuesdays are usually the days i go and take mom um to her appointments because most of the time i'm working um throughout the week and these are only the times that i'm available to go and take her so i'm going this morning i actually forgot what i was gonna say <laughs> i don't know what it is but every time when i vlog i forget what i'm gonna say in the vlogs like i have it in my head and then when i put the camera on i'm just like what was i supposed to say so i totally forgot what i was gonna say um but yeah it's actually <clears throat> nearly 8 30 this morning i'm supposed to be there at least before nine but I live at least 30 to 40 minutes away from her house because she lives pretty far from where I live and so um, I'm trying to beat the traffic. So far the traffic isn't bad this morning so I'm heading there right now um, <clears throat> to see her. Uh, in the last, I think last week I didn't get time to see her. Last, the only time I ever saw her was like a Sunday and then I think that was it. Um, I haven't seen her throughout the whole week because I've been I've been working I've been busy so yeah I get to see her today and then tomorrow um, Aisha's off from work so all of us are gonna look me and her are gonna head over there tomorrow spend some more time um, because we don't technically spend a lot of time without mom very often um, because we're both always working but you know it's always important important <laughs> It's always important to spend time with loved ones, especially mum, now that we don't live with her anymore. Uh, but yeah, so I haven't had breakfast. I'm pretty hungry. Um, I pretty much just left the house this morning. No food in my stomach. So yeah, I'll see you guys soon. I also wanted to ask you guys a question what did you guys think of the manti untold story on netflix because lately i've been seeing on tiktok and on social media a lot of downgrade on the both of them 
um sad to say but it's always usually our own people who put each other down and i didn't really want to go online and you know make a video and talk about it because i feel like a lot of people did that on tiktok it was just to me personally i felt like it was just kind of really downgrading to see like our own pacifica people putting these two down like i get it um these two did you know the netflix show to set the record straight you know to make sure that the proper story came out rather than the media um doing it for them because we all know the media the media does it for stories they do it for money um but yeah i just saw like a lot of negativity on it i saw a lot of um really bad stuff i i thought honestly i didn't like it like i just thought look i get it what they did was stupid what they did was wrong everybody makes mistakes we've got to learn from them um but man it was just terrible like nearly every tiktok video and sometimes that's another reason why i don't really like tiktok too i find tiktok is also <laughs> very toxic a lot of the comments on there are just like brutal they're more worse than youtube so i don't know um let me know what you think put in the comments what did you think about the tv show um and what were your thoughts because i felt like personally i felt like us even scrutinizing them even more especially our own people i feel like that just adds you know more flame to the fire so yeah tell me in the comments what did you think did you think did you think that they should have made this tv show or did you think they should have just left it the way it is for me i think i'm 50 50 i think i didn't mind them bringing the tv show you know letting us know what really happened but the, at the same time to be honest i think it was best maybe if they didn't come out with it at all because yeah it's just to see this type of backlash and negativity online is it's pretty sad um but yeah let me know in the comments finally i made it at home it is the afternoon now you could probably tell it's a little grainy because it's getting darker um but yeah excuse the noise that's actually my neighbor's kids in the backyard they're all in the backyard playing so forgive me for the noise but yes i'm finally done um with her doctor's appointment she does have to come back in november she does have another surgery so i'll talk about that maybe later on in the vlog um, but yeah, finally, <laughs> this is the only time I can have some time and rest to myself. Um, so she still has a lot to do. Um, her leg's getting better. She's recovering quite fast, which is really good. Thumbs up. Um, but yeah, still the walking is, she still has to walk slowly. My neighbor's children. <laughs> um, so yeah, she still has to take her time, but she started driving now she hasn't driven in like probably three months so now she can drive and get herself um to places so thank goodness she can get back into doing things i know she used to hate staying home but now she can finally start driving her doctor has approved for her to start driving but yeah i am probably gonna end the vlog for today that is it i hope you guys enjoyed um, and thank you so much for always sticking around um, and for watching our vlogs. I really do appreciate it. But um, yeah, I'm probably going to end it here and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.